why do we need this right now we'll take word by word now what is business uh, i think you know about mathematics little bit at least right mathematics right and business what is business why we are doing a business what is business and why we are doing a business right a business ekak kone ai api business ekak karanne why we are doing a business what's the reason basically people are doing business to gain a profit to gain a profit am i correct nikang inna baruwata sallina sikarana ne they are doing a business for gain a profit gain a profit now what do you mean by a profit what do you mean by a profit ha huh? what do you mean by a profit profit mean basically income minus cost for income we are telling here revenue revenue or we call it income minus cost the difference difference between the income that mean the money you invested on there and the cost difference will give you the profit of the business profit of the business right so basically we are doing a business to gain a profit at the same time we are giving a service we are giving a service to the community we are doing we are giving a service to the community right and at the same time we are gaining profit from a business right so what do you mean by profit profit mean revenue minus cost revenue minus cost revenue mean the income right so why do we need this maths here with business why do we need maths in business huh? do you have any idea why do we need maths in business huh? now still i didn't familiar your names but i'm trying to point out somebody uh, someone in the in here right uh, yeah Ishini, Ishini Fernando. Why do we need mathematics in a business? Do you have any answer for that question? Do you have any answer for that question? Aye, abhi the maths zone in a business se ekta. Why do we need to calculate? Yes. What do we What do we want to calculate? What do we want to calculate? Kanishka Sampar Singh, Iqbal Ahmed, Fatima Rif Rifka. do you have any answer for that to calculate profit yeah nice to calculate profit only the profit anuttara only the profit what else what else we want to calculate in a business cost yeah yes other than cost other than profit azim mansaf rilan Nipunna Bacon, what do you think about that? Rashmi, income. Yeah, to calculate the income, we need maths. Yeah, yeah. Other than these three words in the formula, ah, <laughs> income equal income. E so what do you call cost? Profit equal income minus cost, right? Other than these three words, what do you want to calculate in a business? What do you want to calculate in the business? Yeah, expenses mean a similar word to cost, right? something else i wanted you know in uh, interest because you have to get a bank loan maybe to invest in a business bank loan ne ganne no business ek patan kare to just have the initial cost right you know we have to um, get the initial uh, money to start the business you know right so there you have to pay interest for the bank right so calculate the interest you need a mathematics right so for various things we need maths yeah probability profit or loss yeah to make the profit to find out the profit of the business to to we, we have to find whether the business is going going like down no it's a it's make a profit or it's making a it's it's a loss we have to calculate all these things all of these things based on maths right when you take a maths yes 
one side you need that practical knowledge and other side you have you should have a theoretical knowledge right where you can where, where it, it, it is help you to make decision right make decisions right so especially probability statistics you will learn those stuff in future right there are like lot of interesting things in this course you you, you have to learn you will be able to learn right and using those stuff we are going to do a business in future right as a chartered accountant nice right so you will be able to do a business using these stuff in future definitely because the, these these won't be a waste right these things we are going to talk about maybe up to all level you feel like the things that you have learned ikana gatta deval all level enakam most of the time we are thinking like a waste of time am i correct most of the students have those type of questions when we are learning something in maths you have a question so why we are learning this why 1 plus 1 equal to for what we need in why x plus x equal to x why we need this you have a lot of questions maybe why we are finding lcm why we need probability why we need sets why we need quadratic equations right why do we need like algebra now you will get answers for all these question when we are doing this course right now when i was a small student even i had those type of question why we are doing this now x plus 1 equal to for what we are doing it why we are solving it for x mokadda me kadane ge the beda thino ha kiyala hituna welawa le thiyo alata right if definitely you you have the same experience which i had when i when i was a small right but when we were when we are doing this course you will be able to get the you will be give, able to get the answer for all these questions because we are going to use mathematics in very practical way how do we use mathematics in business right so let's see i am going to do all these stuff from very basics so this is the first formula i have taught you that is the profit equal revenue minus cost profit equal revenue minus cost that's what we are doing that's what we are doing business to make a profit and uh, provide a service to the society to the community now basically when you are doing a business we are we have like two objectives right uh, one is doing uh, most of the times you are gaining a profit from it and also at the same time you are giving a service to the community right but all all the time you have to balance these two not only the profit not only the profit right uh, because uh, we have to give a good service we have to uh, produce good things right good uh, if you are producing something uh, edible right ana mona hari deya khadana ona mona hari food company ekak na you must have to make it by considering the people health right you have to consider their health as well not only not only to make a profit from it right so you have to balance all these stuff in a business so but here i am not going to do i am not going to teach you how to make a service to the community but uh, we will try to understand how to uh, how to make a profit from that and how do we manipulate how do we use these formulas by using mathematics okay children so let's try out this right uh, okay so first you can write down copy down this one business mathematics and just write down this formula right as a just to take a start right just copy down it quickly right hope you have copied it right so yes i will just quickly explain you what you have done uh, yeah this is a business mathematics and we have learned what is business basically we are doing a business to gain a profit and uh, giving a service to the community so when you come to that uh, profit thing basically profit mean revenue minus cost that mean the difference between the income and the cost so when you are talking about a business you can't forget mathematics because we have to start even it with the formula now profit equal revenue minus cost mean a formula for form formula in mathematics so we whenever we are doing a business it is really necessary it's a necessary 
uh, we, we have to necessarily talk about mathematics. It is compulsory to use mathematics in business. So we can't forget it. That's why we are talking about business mathematics here, right? So as I told you at the beginning, I will uh, start from very basic stuff, right? Now, basically, when you are doing maths, we can't forget algebra because algebra is everywhere, right? So we'll just re revise all the things related to algebra within like uh, one and a half hour. We will try to revise all the things what we have done so far, right? So first, we'll, first I will start with a small, I mean like simple equations, right? Simple equations, right? Simple equations, right? So, uh, right children, now very simple equation, 2x minus 1 equal 3. Now you have to solve it for x, right? I know you know the answer, but just do it and revise, right? Solve it for x. Quickly do those. Right, just try to get the answer of them. Don't get, don't worry, right? Right, if you get like a, a bad result in all level, right? Uh, in for maths, doesn't matter because I will do all the basic stuff we need in business mathematics here, right? Business mathematics also one way na hammer maths part ka kumu mama metal di khada karna. In the bolo me 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 me. Don't make like unusual afraid, right? Uh, because like uh, I will do all this, all the things we need for math mathematics course here. So don't worry. Uh, I will do it from very basics, right? So from the, you know, um, simple algebra, we'll start the course. So don't worry. If you can't understand anything, please let me know, right? Yeah, let's try to get the answers quickly. Now, first you can send minus one to the other side, which is, uh, which says two X equal four, then divide both side by two. It says X equal two, right? Now here, uh, you have to expand the brackets. Uh, remember children, at the end of today's session, I will do a difficult part, right? Which you have never learned before if you haven't done if you haven't done your A levels in math stream, you haven't heard about these things, right? Uh, so I will do a, uh, another very, very important lesson today, end of this lesson. Uh, it is, uh, we call it calculus, right? Calculus, it is, it is very compulsory part in this course. End of today lesson, I will start calculus. So don't miss your lesson today. It is very, very important. Otherwise you won't be able to continue with me because when you are doing problem using calculus, definitely you will be in trouble, right? So don't leave the meeting before I stop the session because then I'm very sorry about you because this part you are going to miss, right? So please stay with me until the lesson finish, right? Even when I come in the calculus, is very very important right in the calculus most of the time i am going to teach it only today and i'm going to use it in next day onwards so please stay to understand those stuff right okay children so 
3 time x is 3x, 3 time minus 2 is minus 6. Uh, yeah, now here, yeah, so here it is minus x equal 4. 3x minus x is 2x. I can send minus 6 to the other side as plus 6. Then this is 10. Then divide both sides by 2. It says x equal 5. That's how we can do it, right? Uh, yes, children. Now, here what you call this is like cross multiplication. We call it cross multiplication. So, we have to multiply this 5 with x plus 1 and 2 with this. So, 5 times x plus 1. The other side, 2 times 2x minus 1. So, 5 times x, 5x. 5 times 1, 5. 2 times 2x is 4x. 2 times minus 2, minus 2. Then take this 4 to 4x four to the other side, so which is minus 4x. And minus 2 is there. And send plus 5 to the other side as minus 5. Then 5x minus 4x, which is x. Minus 2, minus 5, which is minus 7, right? That's how we can do it. But still, children, if you can't understand, please let me know. Huh? Don't don't think like, you know, these are like very easy to If I say this is difficult to understand, they will think I'm a foolish. Like, don't think like that, right? All of them came here to learn from me. I am came here to teach you. So if you have any doubt, just ask. Doesn't matter, right? So, here, what you can do is, here I'll do you, I'll do this question in a different way. So, we can multiply all these terms with 8. Right, children? So when you multiply it with x, uh, you can cancel this 8 and it would be x and 8 times 1 become 8. Now here, there are like two fours. Now we have to multiply these both terms with these two. Right? So 2 times 2x, 4x. 2 times 3, 6. All right. Then, what you can do is, uh, you can send minus 8 to the other side and take 4x to this side. So it says x minus 4x and 6 plus 8. Then uh, we can so x minus 4x which is minus 3x. If you can't understand these things please let me know. Huh? So 8 x minus 4x become minus 3x because we have to get the difference and put the sign of the bigger one. Then 6 plus 8 is 14. Then to get the x, we should divide both sides by minus 3. Plus or minus minus 14 over 3. If you want, you can convert into decimals. Right, children? Hope you understand. So if you want to copy down something from here, please do it now. I think after the break, we would be able to do calculus, right? You must have to learn it properly, right? So, even though these stuff are easy or if you feel like uh, difficult, if you have questions, definitely you must have to ask. I mean, like if you feel easy, that even though you have to stay because calculus is there, calculus you must have to learn to continue with me with these lessons, right? So, please. Uh, try to understand it and uh, okay so right uh, yeah these are the these are basically how do we simplify a simple equation now let's think about quadratic equation right let's see who can do quadratics right Now, when you take a quadratic equations, 
there are mainly there are three method to solve it mainly there are three method to solve it right first one is factorizing method second method is completing square method completing square method third method is formula there is a formula like this x equal minus b plus or minus b square minus 4ac over 2a right most of the time in the uh, upcoming problems we will be use this formula but at the same time you must have to know about factorizing and also completing square formula can you hear me children there is a small power cut happen but it's it's okay now all right okay okay children yeah thank you for your feedback so um, right uh, now this is about quadratic equation basically there are three methods three three methods of solving quadratic equation first, first method is factorizing second method is completing square third method is formula that mean x equal minus b plus or minus b square minus 4 is over 2a that formula we have to use so in upcoming problems all the time we are trying to use this formula but even still you have to learn about factorizing and completing square methods right so first let's do problems let's solve quadratic equations using factorizing method okay plus copy down this quickly all right sorry sorry children right actually i told uh, to just to copy down this quadratic when you get a quadratic equation like there are three type three method of solving it first method is factorizing completing a square then formula right so just copy down this quickly okay children now let's do some problem using factorizing method right solve for x uh, first question okay children try to do this question try to solve those for x try your best i'll give you uh, five more minutes try to do all of them hurry up I think you all can see the screen, so you can start this question. I'll give you five more minutes just to copy down this and complete them. Try, try your best level. Hope you all are doing, children. So, uh, hey, let's take your attendance after the break, right? Okay. Uh, let's do first problem, right? Now, in this factorizing, one thing is straight away you can use the calculator, right? You can use a calculator, but here I expected to do you uh, to do you all using factorizing. So factorizing means now here we have one. Here also we have one. So we are going to separate these middle terms into two terms, right? Now minus two x we can write as minus one x minus one x because you know minus one x minus one x become minus two x. Right, so first term is x square, second term, last term is plus one. Right, so what I did was I just separate the middle term into two terms, minus one x minus one x, which is equal to minus two x. Now here we can take x out, x minus one, and another minus one from here, x minus one. Right. So just expand c x into x x square yes, that is there x into minus one yes minus one next when you multiply with minus one yes minus one next and minus one into minus one become plus one yeah that's true and if you did 
up to this correctly you must have same two terms inside the bracket same two terms must be inside the bracket right so then you can keep it outside as x minus 1 after you bring it out you have x here and you have minus 1 here both the product is equal to 0 if you have a product to equal 0 that means you can say x minus 1 equals 0 or x minus 1 equals 0 so both will give you x equal 1 and x equal 1 that's how we can do that so do you understand this children if you have any doubt please let me know if you have any doubt please let me know right then the next question question number two so here also we can uh, divide the middle terms into two terms so in that case it is not that much easier than easier like this so here we have to consider now uh, one into minus six mean minus six no then we have to think with minus six how do we make minus 6? We can make minus 6 by multiplying minus 3 into plus 2. And at the same time, if I add those two, I will be able to get minus 1. Because minus 3 plus 2 is minus 1. So here also I want to get minus 1x now. So I can write minus 3x and plus 2x. Because minus 3x plus 2x become minus 1, 1x, right? So then we can repeat the x square as it is and also minus 6 as it is. From these two, we can take x as common. x as common. And this is x minus 3. Then we can take plus 2 out. Then it is x minus 3. Right? Then you see x minus 3 is common for both. So we can take this x minus 3 out then this is just x and plus 2 equals 0. So here we can say x minus 3 equals 0 or x plus 2 equals 0. So it gives us x equal 3 and x equal minus 2. Right? I think you understand it. Right? If you have any doubts regarding this, please let me know. If you have any doubt regarding this children, please let me know. Right? Uh, yeah, can you explain again? Yeah, sure. Sure, Ashmi, right? I'll do it. So, I think you want to explain the second question. Am I correct, Ashmi? You want me to explain the second question, right? Okay. Yes, I'm very happy about that. You asked me to explain it once again because most of the time students like they're like hiding their mistakes. Not You are not like that. You, you wanted to know it anyhow. That's wonderful. Great. Right? So I'll do it once again. Um, yes. So. Right? Now, when you are solving quadratic equation, first thing is you have to separate, if it is possible to factorize, you have to separate the middle terms into two terms, right? So there is a important method of doing that, right? But remember for you in exams, you can use the calculator, but, but still you should know this method, right? So in that method, first you have to get this one and this minus six, you have to multiply these together. 1 into minus 6. 1 into minus 6 is minus 6. No, because you know plus times minus is minus. 1 times 6, 6. Right? Then you have to write all the product where you can make where you can make minus 6. Even minus 1 into plus 6. That product will give you minus 6. Even minus 2 into plus 3. That product give you minus 6. Even plus 2 into minus 3, that product will give you minus 6. That's all. That's all are the product where we can have minus 6. No. Right? Uh, one, one thing, one thing. Even uh, plus 1 into minus 6, it's a different one. No? Right? Other than these four, we don't have anything. Right? 
from these four products from from these four multiplications right for this question this one is important why because if we add these two if we add these two our answer is minus 1 right because when you adding two integers if you have different signs we have to get the difference between 3 and 2 difference between 3 and 2 is 1 no anyway and sign we can decide by the sign of the bigger number bigger number is 3 sign of that number is minus so the final answer also minus so by that way we can find these plus 2 and minus 3 so we have to put plus 2 here then we have to put minus 3 as we have x terms here we have to put plus 2x and minus 3x right children then we can have x square and minus 6 here right from these two we have to get x out because it is common for both of them so it will give us x plus 2 then from these two we can make minus 3 out which is x plus 2 inside because if you have x plus 2 only after you expand with minus 3 you can have this minus 3 into x minus 3x minus 3 into plus 2 minus 6 right now this is x plus 2 so you can take this x plus 2 out after you bring that you have x here and you have minus 3 here equal to 0 then you can say x plus 2 equals 0 or x minus 3 equals 0 this it says x equal minus 2 and it says x equal plus 3 right uh, what about uh, what about it uh, do you understand it now do you understand it now rashmi or you want me to explain it once again you want to explain some okay that's fine all right now let's think about the next problem Question number three. So here it's 12. So one times 12 is 12 anyway. So we can write 12 as three times four. Both would be plus. So plus three into plus four is 12. And by adding these two also, we can have plus seven. So here also we have plus seven. So we can write it as plus three X plus 4x and here x square and plus 12 so we can take x out now it is x plus 3 take 4 out it is x plus 3 then x plus 3 is common so it is x plus 3 into x plus oh i'm sorry this also these are also equations huh? i forgot to mention it there i missed that part sorry for it huh? so then you can equal each factor to 0 x plus 4 equals 0 uh, 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 this would be x plus 3 yeah because x plus 3 is the common term for both x plus 3 is the common term for both so we have to make x plus 3 out first then it is x plus 4 so then you will get x equal minus 3 and x equal minus 4 Okay, children, hope you understand it. If you have any doubts, please let me know. Right? If you want any further explanation, please ask. Huh? Right? Then only I can understand. Uh, I wanted to say it again. I wanted to teach it in a very simpler way than that. Then only I can understand it. Right? So, otherwise I will think you all are like really smart students or no need like uh, you know like uh, in basic explanation and i will do in like uh, in a different phase right so please ask questions right then give me a good understanding about your knowledge so then i can do it nicely by considering all these stuff together right nice so here right question number four so let's do cross multiplication first. So this is 2 times 3. 
then x time x minus 1 6 this is x square and minus 6 and take all terms into one side ah, now what you have to do now the same problem I'm not, I'm not going to repeat it once again then same problem you have as to the question what we have done as to is similar to this is similar to this right so you can find x If you can't understand, please let me know. Just try question number five and four. I'll give you another couple of minutes. Just try it.